Okay guys, well, we're gonna make walking tacos tonight and we're gonna use a lot of great different products I'm gonna show, show you and walk you through. First thing we're gonna do is we gotta get some meat cooking. So we're gonna use our stack cooker. Does anybody own the stack cooker? No? Okay, well, you're gonna fall in love with the stack cooker. This is probably the most versatile piece of Tupperware that I own in the kitchen. When you get a stack cooker, here's all the pieces you're gonna get. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the pieces and then walk you through them. That way you know what you can do with all of them, okay? All right, you're gonna get a three quart. The three quart is wonderful for making a whole chicken. You can take a whole chicken, put it in. You don't have to put any water with it. You're gonna put it in the microwave about six minutes per pound, and it's gonna rotisserie cook that chicken absolutely perfection. And when you use your microwave versus your oven, it doesn't heat your house up and you don't have to worry about burning anything. If you've got kids and you're trying to help them learn how to cook and things like that, using the stove or the oven can be kind of scary because they can get burned. Whereas all my children have learned how to cook in a stack cooker and so they never have the heat element to have to worry about because nothing's gonna burn them. Um, so lovely chicken. You can also cover the bottom of this with popcorn kernels and then put your casserole cover over it and put that in the microwave and it's gonna cook your popcorn and it makes fresh beautiful popcorn because you don't have to add anything to it like oil or anything like that until after and then you can add anything you want to to it um, and then when you open this up it's just beautiful steam and beautiful popcorn so that's your three quart you also get your one and three fourths quart which again you can do a little bit of popcorn you can do your vegetables in there you can do meat loaves and we have a very beautiful cookbook that comes with this to show you how to stack your uh, stack your meals and cook them all at the same time, or you can just do individual meals like using your cone to put in and then doing a bundt cake, doing a beautiful mm -hmm. upside down cake in the microwave. It takes about seven to 10 minutes to do a cake. So you're gonna get your one and three fourth quart, and then you're gonna get your colander. And the colander is what we're gonna use today to cook our hamburger meat. I like to stick it down inside of either the smaller one or the larger one, and then you, Sprinkle your turkey, your hamburger meat, your bacon, your sausage, anything that's gonna have a dripping, and then it's gonna drip through and go down into here, and so you don't reabsorb all that fat and grease back into your meat. Whereas when you're cooking it on the stove, it makes a horrible mess, stinks up the house, and then um, it reabsorbs all that fat and grease back into the hamburger meat or the turkey or whatever that you're cooking, okay? And then it also comes with your casserole cover, which not only serves as a top, but you can flip it upside down and use it as a dish. There's a really cool recipe where you take this and you make a key lime cake and it sets in the freezer and then you make a little frosting and your quick shake that comes in the package um, to pour over it and it just is beautiful. It turns out beautiful and it takes five minutes to cook in the microwave. And then it also comes with two of your resealable, reusable seals. So all you have to do is just seal this up liquid airtight, throw it in the freezer or the refrigerator because it's safe for both, and then you can save it, lasagna, maybe you might have some queso leftover, salsa chicken, and then take this off and just reheat it so you don't dirty up other dishes, okay? So stack cooker is one of my favorites because you can do so much with it. It's dishwasher safe, microwave safe, freezer safe, refrigerator safe. Stay cold is a touch handle so it won't burn you or your children when you pull it out of the microwave. So we're gonna use this one and we're gonna add our hamburger meat to it. So we're gonna take some raw hamburger meat and we're gonna put it in. And then we're just gonna take our spatula, which also comes in your summer gig kit, and we're just gonna break this spatula, excuse me, this hamburger meat apart. Now the spatula, being a silicone based tip, can withstand up to 425 degrees. So you can use this on the stove top to do your eggs or mix up casseroles or anything. I made um, a beautiful hash that someone taught me how to make the other night and I used this on my cookware on the stove because it won't scratch up anything. So we're just gonna kind of chunk our meat and kind of move it around the edges so, and I'll come around and let you guys see that. We're gonna take some Southwest Chipotle seasoning, which we make a lot of our seasonings uh, fresh here, our seasoning blends. We go and we get them in bulk and then we blend them together and um, have a lot of classes here at the studio that you guys can attend to, make, to see how to make those and take some home. The Southwest Chipotle is what we're also gonna use in our salsa. So I will show you ladies, this is what we got so far. Okay, so we're just gonna put that in the microwave. We're gonna cover it so we don't have any splattering and we're gonna do it, it's about six minutes per pound. So this is a pound, so we're gonna do it for six minutes and we're gonna let that cook. And we're gonna move on to our salsa. Okay, so our salsa is a fresh, easy salsa 
that you can definitely um, add to it. So if you have a great salsa recipe or you might add a jalapeno or maybe you might exclude the cilantro, however you want to do it, you can change it up. And we're going to use our Power Chef. So I know you guys have the Power Chef because it comes in the larger opportunity. The little small chopper that I spoke about earlier, it accompanies this one very well because they work the same way. Okay, so just by pulling of the string. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off our pieces here. We're gonna use the three piece blade and we're gonna add a half of an onion and we're gonna add two pieces of garlic and we're also gonna add some fresh cilantro, okay? So this is, one, this is the exact same fridge smart that comes in the summer gig package and um, it keeps all of your fresh fruits and vegetables longer. So if you ever thrown away strawberries, zucchini, squash, corn on the cob, right? Um, onions, oh, excuse me, uh, uh, bell peppers and broccoli and all these three things, they're all listed right here. And then in the corners, it has a little diagram to let you know how to vent this up here. So strawberries, for example, are a low breather. They need no air, so you would move them to that one. Corn is a high breather, needs lots of air, you would move it to that one. And you would just move this based on the venting system put your top on and that's all you have to do and your cilantro, your herbs, all your fruits and vegetables are gonna last double the life, okay? And I know you guys have those too, so I'm sure you are loving those. So we're gonna add some cilantro in here. Now you can definitely use the stems of cilantro. They have a lot of flavor and nutrients in it. And then also uh, this chopper because every one pull of the string, it spins those blades uh, 25 times. So you're getting a really, really, really good chop. So I'll show you, we've got everything piled in there. So think about what you would do with this chopper if you owned it. What would you chop up? If I gave you one to take home, what would you chop it? Guacamole. Guacamole, I like the way she thinks. Um, I'm trying to think of what my husband does. Maybe chicken salad. Salsa, salsa. 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 there you go, <laughs> instead of pulling down the big processor. Um, you can make homemade ice cream in this. You can do um, anything you would pull a knife out. So when I made my hash the other night, I needed to dice up an onion and some bell peppers and some um, uh, potatoes. You can put them in there and just pull it. The less you pull, it's just gonna kind of shred. You can shred chicken. Um, the faster you pull, it's gonna kind of mince. So you can eventually puree and make homemade baby food from it. Yeah, my husband did baby food. There you go, you could definitely make homemade baby food. All I'm gonna do is pull. <laughs> So we want this fine, you know, one big chunks of garlic and onion in our uh, cilantro. If you did want it chunky, you could definitely slow it down a bit. So here's what we got so far. So really nice and blended and chopped. Cute shoes. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to add a couple of uh, pieces to this. We're going to add some diced tomatoes. So you can use fresh tomatoes, but then I couldn't show you my can opener. Okay, so Tupperware does make a very fantastic can opener, and here's how you're gonna use it. You're gonna separate these little handles here. You're gonna set it down on top of your can, and then you'll be able to pick the can up. And all you're gonna do is turn this handle, and the, the greatest thing about this can opener, it never cuts the can. It actually separates the glue from the can. So the benefit in that is you will never have anything that can possibly cut you or your family. And then also, because it doesn't cut the can, it never touches the food. So no food ever gets on your can opener. So how does it cut the glue? It takes the glue, it separates the glue from the can. Just like that. I don't know how it works, I just know it works. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> it separates the glue from the can. So it literally separates and takes it apart with no sharp edges, um, no shards of metal or paper are gonna be in your food, no food ever touches your can opener, and it works great for left-handed or right-handed, and it's perfect for people that have arthritis because it literally feels like you're turning and doing nothing. How much is that? The can opener is 35. Yes, 35, and it's absolutely one of my favorites. We have one in our camper because, you know, when you go camping, you gotta have a, great, a good can opener, and you, don't, you may not I have thought power. I that we were camping this past weekend. Yes, it's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a can of diced tomatoes. We are also gonna add some lime. We need some lime. So we've got our Tupperware cutting board. We've got our lime, one of our Tupperware knives. This is the serrated one that I love so much. I'm gonna just go through that like butter. And then we're gonna take our lemon lime zester press, okay? So with this press, you are going to take your lemon or your lime and you're gonna put it wet side down or skin side up. 
I say wet side down, Inky says skin side up. And then you're gonna simply just press it through and wow. get all the lines so that's, out. That's better than the ones that we get from the store, right? Oh yeah. Because I can see a difference. It's a lot oh, bigger than it flips it inside out. And it has a lifetime guarantee, a lifetime warranty. How much so is that? This one's 32. I'm getting it. Yeah. Is that plastic? <laughs> I'll let you feel of it because it's not oh my God. plasticky, but it's not metally. You I'll don't let... understand, like, every time either me or my husband are on the wet, we're like, oh, and then they'll say, you try. Yeah. And the metal ones, they rust, their little screws come out. This has a lifetime warranty on it. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, I can't wait. I'm That's a great it. one. This one I want. It also okay. comes with. Are we taking notes? Yeah. <laughs> it also <laughs> comes with your zester. So What's it's a zest, zest and press. So that's going to be your press. So this little contraption here fits right here. And like that. So you can take your citrus and you can zest. Oh, yeah. So you yeah. do on chicken. So now you've got it in here. Or you can take this off and just zest it right into your dish. And that comes with that. It, it sure does. Oh, my God. This so is all together. Yep. <laughs> Get this hired order form. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, last but not least, we're going to put some Southwest Chipotle seasoning in here. About a tablespoon. It's not got a whole lot of heat to it, so if you wanted to add more at home, you definitely could. It's like a taco blend. It's got some cumin, um, some onion powder and garlic powder. Very good blend for your hamburger meat, guacamoles, salsas, things like that. Sprinkle it on chicken. And we're going to blend all this together. <laughs> this chopper also we have a really nice cookbook that we can print when you purchase one and make sure that you have that so everything's blended together quite beautifully there so that one's done yeah and then now I'm going to show you you guys our hamburger meat I'll show you that the handles after six minutes are not hot to touch so the stay cool handles really do work this is very warm but the handles are going to stay nice and cool I'm gonna take that off and let all that moisture and steam out. And our hamburger meat looks beautiful. So if you like it to be chunky, you can leave it the way it is. If you would prefer for it to be more um, fine and ground, you can actually put the cooked hamburger meat in your chopper and pull the string and get it really, really fine. So I like to, when I'm feeling like empanadas and things like that, tacos, I like to do a little bit more of a finer meat. But today in your walking tacos, it, it works a little bit best having some bigger chunks. So we're not gonna do it too fine. But I will show you guys how beautiful this turned out. I can't believe it. I'm Six so minutes. Awesome. Six minutes in the microwave, no mess. Wow. And I also wanna show you this. You Six think, minutes, I need that. We eat tacos at my Six house. Six like, minutes and it is done. <laughs> three or four times. So this is what you didn't get in your oh, meat. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, so All of that would have been reabsorbed. Where did that, where did that come from? It came through the oh, holes. Remember the colander part? Yeah. Yep. So this... Is that bad? This is really bad. This is all the fat and the grease that comes out of, and this was a very lean hamburger meat, and you still see how much was in so, there. So let me ask you a question real quick. Sorry. To no, you're okay. But a lot of people, there's a lot of articles out there that, like my mom was always telling me, stop microwaving, like for my daughter, mm -hmm. when I make stuff. She doesn't really like me to use the microwave, but apparently this is kind of like the safest way to microwave because it's eliminating the fat and stuff like that. Is that yes. what makes the actual uh, outcome of the meat okay? Yes. Eat? I would, but my comment to that, if, I, if I'm thinking what you're, um, if I understand what you're saying, is a lot of times people shy away from microwave cooking because they're not using microwave safe products such as, uh, just as an example, mm -hmm. a butter dish that butter comes in, or right. Cool Whip, or even sour cream. A lot of people reuse those containers and they're not meant for reusable. Mm -hmm. They're meant for a one-time use. They're very one. soft. Yeah, they're very soft, as this product is ex extremely hard. So this is not, you can't bend this or squeeze this like you could a, I mean, a, um, a Cool Whip container, for example. Mm -hmm. So if you put a, a Cool Whip in there, or a butter dish, or, or a, a paper plate, yeah, or a paper plate, anything that's soft in nature and not intended to be microwaved, mm -hmm. then you could possibly be causing damage to that product and to your food. But the Even products that we have, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Anything that shouldn't be put in the microwave, I wouldn't put it in there. So I see. Okay, because yeah. that's why the that's like, you know, 
when you talk to certain people, that's kind of been instilled yeah. in their mind yeah. that it's not safe to yeah. do that. Yeah, and, and we have products that are made for the microwave, and I then see. we have products that are not made for the microwave. So I wouldn't recommend putting this in the microwave because it's not intended for microwave use, and it's kind of softer in nature. Ooh, that's for baking. Than that, yes, this is for baking. <laughs> well, because I think it's different too when you think about like putting a microwave meal yeah. in the microwave versus you're making a fresh meal. Like, yeah. yeah. You know, fresh meat and vegetables. Yeah. This is called a microwave oven and it does exactly what an oven does. It just does it in a fraction of the time and it doesn't heat your house up. Which which most microwaves are like that. Exactly. That we have in our house. Exactly. Yep. You can do it. That's a very you can good do question. Frost. If you can do frost, then obviously. Yeah. Works the same. Good deal. Well, I'm going to show you guys one last product, and that is our Grade Master Shredder. And uh, this is what it looks like, all the pieces that you get with your shredder. Wow. And it's a system. Once you own a base, you can add attachments that go on your base. The cabinet right behind you has a juicer. It has a couple of more cones that you can get that add to these cones. And it also has a sorbet maker and a mincer, which means that you can grind your own sirloin and things like that and make your fresh meats. Okay? Your base. This is the Grade Master, so this has got a cone that we're gonna grate our cheese. You're just gonna slide the cone through. You're gonna take your handle and twist it onto the back. I can't believe it. And then you're gonna slide this on, okay? So now we're gonna grate fresh cheese. You have your plunger to press it down. The reason that you would wanna grate fresh cheese, couple different reasons. One reason is when you buy packaged grated cheese, a lot of times they have ingredients that come in it they have ingredients that come in the packaged cheese that's not cheese. It's got chemicals in it. We've had stories and articles of wood shavings and all kinds of fillers being in cheese. When you buy a block of cheese, it's just cheese. You can take that block of cheese, you can section it out into fours, you can put them in the freezer, you can pull one chunk out every week and freshly grate it with the Grain Master. You can also put vegetables through here and hide them in meat loaves and things like that for the kids and they'll never know they're in there. Make zucchini bread and you can put um, potatoes through here and make fresh hash browns, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys how fast, and y'all saw that block of cheese, it was yeah. a chunk. How much cheese? What about cauliflower? You sure can, you can put cauliflower through oh here and do rice God. cauliflower. You're not even putting pressure, are you? Barely touching it and it just goes all the way through. Look how cool. Oh my god, my You're gonna gonna love it. <laughs> He's gonna love it. He's gonna love it. Isn't that great? So we've got all that cheese, fresh cheese that came from that little bitty block of wow. cheese. And one minute or like 10 yeah. seconds. Yeah, just chop, chop, chop. And kids love to do this. It becomes a part of my kitchen. I have like a basket with all my attachment in a place right in my kitchen counter where this sits. And then all I have to do is pull the attachments out, attach it to the base and use it. Because if it's out, I'll use it. If I have to go that? dig for it, I'm not going to use it. Okay. The so base we, is how much? Oh, this, this are sold separately. So your base is going to, I think it's 39 and then you can get the attachments for 59 So you can add all kinds of attachments like as each, you go. Each is 59 or is that? Yeah, sold? this is 59 Yeah. And so if you wanted to get the sorbet maker, the juicer, more cones, you sorbet can- Sorbet maker? Mm -hmm. What's that? Sorbet is where you take frozen fruit and you put it through and it makes like oh, an ice cream. Sherbet. Yeah, it makes like, it's sherbet, sherbet. yeah. <laughs> Instead, it's an ice cream without the milk. It's just frozen fruit. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do, our finishing touch, let me get some of this out of the way so you guys can see how cute. You've got kiddos, it sounds like you guys do. You're gonna love this little concept. Um, I just always thought Tupperware was just Tupperware. <laughs> <laughs> we have blown your mind. <laughs> what is just Tupperware? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so Please. you're gonna take some bags of Doritos. You're gonna crunch them. You get this at her house for a party. Yes, this is adorable for summertime parties. You're gonna crunch up your Doritos, you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut it through and then you're gonna have this, okay? And then you're gonna take your cheese, you're gonna take your salsa, you're gonna take your hamburger meat and some sour cream, and then you're gonna stick a fork in it and you're gonna walk and you're gonna eat. And then this is all you have to do is throw it away. So it's a walk and taco. Walk and taco. <laughs>